Back now with our new Green Bay Metro Fire Chief, Matthew Not uh, Chief, you're out in the field. Are we seeing more fires, home fires, business fires these days, or are we finally getting it with regulations and, and smoke detectors and codes taking effect? Yeah, I, I'd like to say we're, we're getting it, but certainly when we look at it, you know, one fire is too many. You know, especially the thing that, that we really work hard are these preventable fires. You know, some fires truly happen because of a variety of factors, you know, whether it's a, perhaps an electrical issue or it's, it's something else. But what our efforts are really focused on are truly those, those preventable fires. We know that, you know, unattended cooking is what's causing most of our fires, you know, and, and we know these are the factors that we need to deal with. And we provide safety tips. We, and, and those are the things I think that if there's one thing we could change is, is to provide a message where everybody truly understands the importance of, of that, mm -hmm. you know, preventing fires. Most home fires are preventable, and, and that's what a lot of our efforts are put forth, is trying to prevent those home fires. So we have seen, um, you know, safety increase um, with working smoke alarms, with planning of escape plans and things, but, but we also see fires burning hotter and faster than we've ever seen before. And so the times to get out of a house fire are, are minutes. Yeah. You know, it used to be, there used to be enough time. Now it's, it's right now, it's, it changes happen very, right. very quickly. Right. And fire growth is so rapid that there's very little time. So, you know, we stress the importance of sleeping with your doors closed, that close while you doze to help prevent and keep that smoke away from anybody that's sleeping. So it allows them to get enough time to get out. Um, you know, the importance of working smoke alarms, having an escape plan, uh, you know, making sure if you're doing unsafe practices or practices that are potentially fire causing, mm -hmm. that you're monitoring it and making sure that everybody understands what the hazards are and, yeah. and how to prevent those. Where are you on fire calls versus medical calls? Sure, the, vo the mass, vast majority of our calls are medical related. Medical, yeah. yeah. And like I said, the importance of, of the fire service is that if there's ever an issue, call us, we'll come and help. Um, and that's it. So, you know, we solve all kinds of problems and we don't just respond to structure fires. It's, it's mostly medical. Um, you know, we pr provide uh, paramedic level service. Our ambulances are, are staffed 24 hours a day and able to respond for moment's notice for, for any kind of scenario. But, you know, our job and our mission is to be prepared to help anybody with any issue. And, and those are very, that's a very broad statement, yeah. but certainly that's what our skill sets are. What kind of training do your people go through? Sure. If and I wanted to be a firefighter or yeah. a paramedic from, from today until when am I out working? Sure. Um, so we're actually going to be hiring a, a quite a few firefighters this, this spring. So we're going to have a recruit class of about 20 people. Um, those firefighters have all spent time the last couple of years preparing for this. Uh, they have associate's degree in fire science or a fire medic program or fire protection technicians. Uh, they've passed numerous tests. They've done some physical ability testing. And, and that's when they come to us. And then from us, we put them through an eight-week academy with our recruit instructors and in partnership oftentimes with NWTC, the tech college, and, and to make sure that they're ready to respond. Uh, a lot of these firefighters are coming through us, have already been here through an internship program through NWTC and, and are really ready to go once they get out. So, and as part of that, then once they get out, um, they're assigned to a fire company where a company officer, a lieutenant or, or captain will, will monitor them, make sure that you know, they follow this, this field internship opportunity basically where, where they're monitored closely, evaluated, and make sure they're meeting certain skill sets for us. So it's a, it's a lengthy process and you know, it's very arduous, but it's certainly worth the effort. From the short time you've been uh -huh. here, you've looked at the stations. How are sure. we on equipment? Are you looking to upgrade, looking to yeah. expand? Do you have a wish list? Sure, I, I always have wish lists, right? <laughs> Cause you, you never know that opportunity, but you know, our, our fire apparatus, our, our council has been, and our, our mayor has been very supportive of us and over the years. And, um, you know, our, our apparatus fleet is, is very good. Um, you know, we've been looking and we still have some opportunities for some additional repairs and replacements. Uh, we're also working hard to, to work on improvements to our fire stations. So we have fire stations all throughout the city. Uh, we have a fire stations in Bellevue and one in Alleyway also. So these stations are, 
uh, you know, the building that our fire headquarters is in is approximately 100 years old. Yeah, so, it is. Yep. So we've been working hard, and some of the alders are very supportive of, uh, you know, ex looking to, to develop a new fire station. So those are things we're working on now also, and, and we hope to uh, put some extra effort into improving our current facilities too. You've got some big plans. So you bet. We are going to wrap it up with Chief Knott right after this. Stay right there.